Hi guys, welcome back to Four Wheel Drivers Life. Since the last light comparison video I did, many of you have asked me to compare these two lights: the Rigid DSS Pro in driving pattern, and then the Dial Dynamic SS3 Pro in combo pattern. In one of the previous videos, I concluded that the Rigid DSS Pro driving pattern is the best light for my need. However, people have been saying that. I did not compare to the right pattern light from Dial Dynamics. The one I compared with was in flood pattern. However, I really should have compared the combo because the combo is the good combination of two driving pattern beads and then two flood pattern beads. So I got the cover or the lens from Dial Dynamics and did another comparison. So with the comparable lens to the rigid. Will the Dial Dynamics SS3 Pro perform just as good as the Rigid DSS Pro in driving pattern? Let's find out. In this comparison, I'm gonna take out both light out into the field at night, and then I'm gonna keep all the camera settings the same, so that there is a very direct comparison instead of cameras being automatically adjusting to the brightness of the light. Our camera will be in manual setting. All right, now you're seeing the Tundra stock low beam. It's the LED version that comes with the TRD Pro Tundra. Now you're seeing the high beam. As you can see, when I flash the high beam, the peripheral on the side and then the very distance trees were、uh, illuminated. Now we have the Dial Dynamics SS3 Pro in combo pattern. From this clip, you can see the angle of the Dial Dynamics flood pattern is about this much. Now I'm just flicking on the high beam for comparison. Now is the Dial Dynamics again. As you see, the tree lines are illuminated, and that's because of the driving pattern. The top row of the combo is actually driving pattern, which throws light further away. All right, here is a rigid DSS Pro in driving pattern. As you see, the light output on the grass is very intense. The angle of the light coverage actually goes backwards. Which make it perfect for ditch light application, as you want that side illumination without losing front illumination. Here I'm turning on the Dial Dynamics on top of the rigid. As you can see, it gives a little further throw of the light to the tree lines. However,、uh, that near field illumination and the range of illumination of the light that goes out is significantly larger from rigid. Here I'm alternating the Dial Dynamics and Rigid. In hindsight, I probably should have pointed the Rigid light a little higher because the hot spot is kind of very close to the vehicle, and that will just give it more advantages over the Dial Dynamics. So after all, in my opinion, the Rigid DSS Pro driving pattern is the best ditch light I've tested because it. The wide angle aspect of it is really unbeatable. I've never seen any light that spread the light as wide as the Rigid DSS Pros because of the sight shooter functionality of it. All right, that's it for my comparison. So, which light do you think performed better, and which light is a good fit for your need? Please comment below and hit that like button if you like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more contents like this. Thank you so much. Have a good one.